Hello friends. Welcome back. Today, let's explore Kali Linux 2022.4. It is the last release of penetration and security assessment oriented Kali New Linux distribution in 2022. As usual, it brings several enhancements, package updates and new tools over the previous release. With the 2022.4 release, Kali is available on Microsoft Azure again. With the default installation, there won't be any desktop environment or tools available in the Azure image. You can install the Kali tools with Kali Linux default meta package. Also, it is possible to configure an XFCE desktop for RDP connections. Kali NetHunter Pro now officially supports Pine64 Pine Phone and Pine Phone. Initially, Kali will make SD card images available for the Pine Phone and the Pine Phone Pro to dual boot alongside the main OS. Soon there will be alternative versions with Plasma Mobile as well as installers to install NetHunter Pro on internal flash memory. Kali NetHunter finally introduces Bluetooth support. Android 11 and 12 crashing when starting the Kali NetHunter app has also been fixed with this release. Kali 2022.4 introduces GNOME 43 and Plasma 5.26. With GNOME 43, a new GTK3 theme based on the app GTK3 is included which offers a fresh and consistent design. Proxy switch extension is disabled from GNOME shell is it not compatible now? That's all from the key highlights. For further reading, you can see the official release announcement in Project's website. Let's have a quick desktop tour before winding up. Don't forget to subscribe our channel.